An idea comes, and you see it, and you hear it, and you know it. How does it come? It comes like on a TV in your mind. <laughs> you know, there's a, a, a line I've, I've always loved of, of Leonard Cohen. He said, if I knew where the good songs came from, I would go there more often. Absolutely. <laughs> People, we, want, I, we don't do anything without an idea. So they're beautiful gifts. And I always say, you desiring an idea is like a bait on a hook. Yeah. It can pull them in. And if you catch an idea that you love, that's a beautiful, beautiful day. And you write that idea down so you won't forget it. And that idea that you caught might just be a fragment of the whole, whatever it is you're working on, but now you have even more bait. Thinking about that small fragment, that little fish, will bring in more, and they'll come in and they'll hook on, and more and more come in, and pretty soon you might have a script, or a chair, or a painting, or an idea for a painting. But they come as in small... More often than not, small fragments. I like to think of it as in the other room, the puzzle is all together, but they keep flipping in just one piece at a time. In the other room? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a sense, David, there's always another room somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing to think about. Let's think about it a bit. No, you think about it. <laughs> <laughs>